Is it a crappie? Oh my gosh. Gosh, it's not coming in. Oh gosh. Oh. It's because it's not a crappie. They got him. Thought this got him. Got him. He literally got the mineral in his mouth. What the world? What's up, Tastic Gang? It's your boy, Trevor Tastic. And today, I have a video I have never, ever tried on this channel before. But, it's always a first time for everything. If you are struggling or not motivated to go try something, let this be your cue to just go ahead and try it. So today, we are going to fish with live minnows. See if y'all can see them up in there. I see them. I got about 25 of them. And we are going to go to this spot that I know and basically go fish for whatever's gonna bite. I'm gonna have two different setups that I'm gonna show y'all once I get out there. One's gonna be a regular just, you know, bobber and jig. But the other one's gonna be a bobber and a circle hook. And I'm going to see what's more effective. I know I got brim up in there, bass and crappie, so. Hey, I'm praying for an eventful day. I hope that God blesses me with that. I am so appreciative of all of the love that y'all have shown me. All of this is motivation to keep going and push out content for y'all. And I know that none of this will be possible without the man above. Because honestly, I wouldn't be here without him. But make sure y'all leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. You know, you never want to miss TurboTastic Uploader because I'm going to always have tips for you and just good energy that you might need in your day to see or receive. But I'm going to stop talking and go ahead and get out there. I'm going to show y'all everything while I'm out there. All right, okay. y'all, right, we out here. I'm about to show y'all the two different ways that I rig up that I've learned from watching other people do. And we're going to get to fishing. I have both of my ultralight setup. This is a Shimano R2000 with uh, paired up to a Laguna and this pole is six foot. It's six foot ultralight and this one here is like I showed you in the last video it is a little Lucy ultralight and this is paired up to the Lucy Reel 100 Gear ratio 5-1-1 and the pole is, let me see, the pole is 5 foot and this is another ultralight. So, the difference between these two setups, one has a circle hook like you see right here and the other one has a regular jig. Now there's going to be two different ways that you can hook these up and both are shown to be effective. But we're going to try to figure out which one is more effective and makes you lose less fish. Or actually, we're not going to do that one. I don't have a big enough hook on. So what we're going to do, another way that I've seen, all you do is go right through the back of this fin. I'm going to show you all. Just like this. So you don't kill them. Right through the back. Just like that. And that's going to look like a weak little minnow so we're gonna go ahead and get him out there see how he's kicking look he want to kick it just like that and all i'm gonna do is wait for that barber to go down and set the hook Ooh. Alright, 
part three now. About to attempt it. Now all I'm gonna do is a little real bend. I'm really letting it just drift in the wind. That's really what I'm letting it do. Oh, oh, got a take on it. I got a take. I got one. Oh, it came off. Eight the minnow. We're going to try again. We gonna, he didn't eat the minnow, but we're going to try again. That's a good sign. That's got me excited. I've never done this before. And to see the barber go down with a live minnow, that's crazy. Oh, I threw it off. His head ripped off. Look at that. That's the only problem that I'm seeing right now. It's hard to keep them hooked. Oh, crap. My bad, y'all. But yeah, it's hard to keep them hooked while throwing them out there. I have to lightly toss it. Now, I'm gonna show you the proper way to hook them. I had to switch out hooks. Dang, something bit me on my neck. I got them in my left hand now. All you wanna do is open up his bottom mouth, just like that, and hook straight through. Then you're gonna push that all the way. And you don't wanna kill him. So you go and hook it right through his back right here. If I could show y'all, just like this. Right behind the fan, right there. Just like that, just like that. We gonna go ahead and get him in the water. Go try a different spot. Like, ever since that first take, we haven't had nothing. Now, I really don't know how to do this. But it is my first time, and it's, you know, I want to learn how to do it. Oh, I think something got it. Something's got it. Something's messing with it. Something's got him. Got one. We got one. We got the first one on the middle, y'all. Let's go. It's the first crappie. Let's go. Look at that, y'all. That's my first crappie on the live minnow ever. Ever. Look at how we got it. That's so cool. Ugh. We're gonna go ahead and get him a hook real quick. Let's go, y'all. Got a little baby crappie. Let's go ahead and get a release on him. And he ate that minnow. He ate that minnow. Caught that baby crappie. First thing I noticed though, when I was getting my first couple bites. It didn't seem like the hook was hooking it as well. It was like nibbling it and I was watching the barber swim away so I had to let it eat a little. But as soon as that barber went down, I set the hook. That's my first ever crappie on a live minnow. Well, he's dead now, but. <laughs> Whoa, well, that made me look quick. But yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. We gonna try to do that again after i catch a few on a jig i'm gonna see i'm gonna I'll, I'll switch out to the circle hook and see if it's easier to set the hook or get a fish hook that way all right y'all so now we got another live minnow on there i was getting bit something's messing with it i think we got something y'all i'm gonna wait for the barber to go all the way down now i think he's trying to eat it he's either trying to eat it or he got it he still got the minnow i see when the barber starts moving a whole lot 
That's when it seems like I have something on. Oh, oh, y'all. We got a tape. Uh, I don't see the barber anymore. We got something, y'all. Oh. oh, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a big crappie, y'all. Oh. 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 Look at that. That's probably the biggest crappie I've ever caught, y'all. No, this is. Oh. This is the biggest crappie I've ever caught. Look at this. I wish I had a measure so I could see exactly how big it is, but look at that. That's a slab. That's a slab right there. Y'all see that? You know, if I was eating them, yeah, this would be one that I would want to bring back, but we gonna go ahead and let him go. Right, ready for this. That's my second crappie ever on a live minnow. And I wasn't even paying attention. So it's like, it's different because it's a longer waiting game than when you're using a regular lure. When you're using a lure, you can reel at your own pace and, you know, kind of try to get the fish attention. But with this, I'm just waiting and waiting for the bobber to disappear. And it just did. It's really exciting. We're going to try to replicate that again and now this is how i'm hooking them i'm hooking them right through their nostril because that seems to be the strongest point on the minnow because every other time i would throw it out and the body would either rip off or just fly off because they're so they're so soft i'm gonna set up my other pole while that's out there all right we got my second setup right here and all it is is it's a bobber right here with a split shot to a little one ox circle hook. And we're gonna go ahead and get that out there beside it. Oh. Minnow's jumping on my hand. Uh, we're gonna hook this the same way, right through the nostril. It's a circle hook, so it should hook by itself. But. Just. Just like that. And he's wiggling freely. We're gonna leave both of these here to just swim around. And you'll see me come back in the frame when I have a fish on. It's a long waiting game. I got a fish on. I got a fish on, y'all. Let's go. Feels like a good one. Keep cooling. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Dang. And I was recording. Let's go. Another slab, y'all. That's on the little circle hook. That's crazy. That's good because both setups work. That shows you. Got that boy. Nice little black crappie. Gonna go ahead and get a release on her. Go get a live one on that again. And then probably swap out and put a live one on the other one. And I'm going to show y'all again how I like to hook these shiners. Oh, that one tried to get away. But all I do, I'm right-handed, so I put the hook in my right hand. I get the minnow, and I take that hook right through his nostril. 
right through his nostril. See if y'all can see that. Dang. There. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Oh, something's got this one. Y'all see? Something's got the ball. Something's got it. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, dang. This one's got some weight to it. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, he just threw off. He just threw off my minnow. Let me see if I can get him. Oh. Ah, screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. We'll let it go. That's two. That's two to two for the jig head and the, um, the circle hook. Seems like the circle hook might be a more effective. That's what I think. Cause I could truly just leave it alone and let the circle hook hook itself. And y'all see, I'm hooking it the same way for both of them. Right through the nostrils or right through the gill. I mean, not through the gill, but all right through the mouth. We're gonna go ahead and get a release on him, though. Go we'll get that hooked up again. And if the phone dies, then everything will be on my if my phone dies, excuse me there, then everything will be on my GoPro. Oh, oh, got a fish. I got a fish, y'all. I'm tangled up in my other line, but I got a fish. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's get this. What the world? Okay. Got the fish untangled. Alright y'all, that's another nice slab on the circle hook. I think I got one on the jig too, so we're going to go ahead and get him back right now. I do. Oh, I got some. Oh, do y'all see that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at the bend in the pole. What's going on? What do I got on? What is it? Look at this. He got stuck. He got stuck. Got him. Gosh, he swallowed him. Look at that. Look at that. The minnow's gone. All right, y'all. I don't know how we're going to say this one. He might have to come home with me. Because he swallowed the hook. And I don't have any pliers. And he's bleeding. Yeah, buddy's going to have to. So we're going to continue fishing with just the circle hook. I saw that movement right there. It was something literally right in front of me. See if he wants a minnow. Oh, we got one, y'all. What the world? We got one. Didn't even know. Didn't even know. 
Let's hope he's not in the same scenario as all the... Oh, he just spit my minnow. Dang, stop moving, dude. Dang. Dang! Okay. Just open your mouth. Stop being like that. Alright. Dang! He swallowed the hook too. Alright. So. Since he swallowed the hook. Y'all see. Y'all can't see but he did. I gotta bring him home too. Cause if I don't he'll just die. If I put him back in the water. So. We're going to get this one and try to catch one on the last one. And be up out of here. Got two of them. Alright. Still got our minnow. We're going to cast it out. Dang. One more time. Try to get something. If we do, we do. If we don't, we don't, you know? We're not going to complain because we already had a really good productive day. Alright, y'all. This is day two. Today, I got some min medium-sized minnows and large minnows. Yesterday, I had small and medium. And, uh, you know, it was still working, but I wanted to see if I could get some bigger-sized crappie or potentially some bass. So, we're going to go ahead and get straight to it. This is a large one right here. Gonna go ahead and hook him the same way I was yesterday. Just right through the bottom. And come out through his nose, just like that. Got us another large one, gonna hook it the same way. Just right through the bottom through the nostril just like that just like that where's the bottom? where's the bottom? alright I think we got one y'all I think we got one yep we got one we got us one. Oh, gosh. Come on. Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting, dude. Oh, let's go. Ooh. He just threw the minnow out of me. Look at that, y'all. That's the first one today on the live minnow. He was hungry for it. Got him a hook. Let's see him. Make sure it's him. Yeah, yeah. Let's see him. Now y'all can see it. We're gonna go and get him back now. Thank you, buddy. Oh, something's messing with the bobber. Yep. Something's got him. Something's got him. Something's taking him down. Yep, they got him. They got him. Something's got him. Got him. Ooh. I'm trying to get him. Dang, my drag. So loose. Got him. There you go. A little baby crappie. Little baby crappie. He went for it. Y'all see how he went for it though? Just like that. Still got the minnow on there. Nope. Oh, for right now. He don't shake it off. But yeah. Just like that. Let's 
see how that was hooked. It's crazy. It's perfect. Might find my new way of catching crappie. It just take a long darn time. Alright. Let's get this boy back. Right. There we go. That minnow is gone, so we threw him off. Let's get a more appetizing sized minnow for them. Maybe they hungry because it's closer to dinner time for me, so maybe it's closer to dinner time for them. Let's get this boy hooked up. Like so. And throw him out there. Let's go, y'all. That's that's three today off of the minnow. That's three. Bobber's gone. The bobber's gone. And the yellow one here. That means the fish is on. And we're about to check it. We got a fish on. We just got to check it. Alright. We better go ahead and get him. Get him. Got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Ooh. Let's go. It's another good size crappie. Dang, it's a big one. It's a big size crappie right there. Ugh. Dang. Let's go. I turned back and then I saw the bubble was gone. Seems like he was hungry enough to come get it. Look at him, y'all. Beautiful size crappie. And if you want to know how to clean these, I have it on my channel. So you should go and check that out. Let's get them back. Something's messing with the something's messing with the yellow bobber. It's gone. It's gone, y'all. It's swimming off. It's swimming off. We better get it. Oh. It went to a snag. No. Oh, it came out. It came out. Let's go. Let's go. He came out. Oh, let's go. This is a smart fish, y'all. This is a smart fish. It threw off my minnow. Dude, when I when I saw the barber go down, it went straight to it went straight to a snag. That's crazy. This little fish is that smart. Look at that. We got him. I don't even know how many that is today. I gotta go check and see if the other barber's still here. Let's get him back. Now all I'm doing, I'm getting a minnow and I'm throwing it in the area that I have my my barber in. So they kind of got two options and if they decide to go for mine, they're hooked. Just like the last one because that's what I did for the, the last one. Oh, oh, got one. I got one, y'all. 
Got him. Oh, I don't know what the... No! No! What was that? No! That was insane. No! Dang, what was that? It came off, y'all. Whatever it was, it took that crappie down. It took that minnow down quick. And it was heavy. Try to get it back out there. Try to get a minnow back out there about the same size. I don't know what that was, but I watched it take down the bobber. We don't got much longer out here. Oh, bobber gone. Turn my back for a second, y'all. To go get this out and secure this one. Come on, let's secure this one. Come on, come on. Did we get him? Got him, got him, got him, y'all. We got him. I think this is a crappie. Oh my gosh. Gosh, it's not coming in. Oh gosh. Oh. It's because it's not a crappie. This is a, what the world, a bullhead, y'all. I caught a bullhead <laughs> on a live minnow. Yo. Y'all, look at this. I just caught me a bullhead, y'all, on a live minnow. What the world? Oh. Let me go ahead and get that out. Let me get my hook back. Look at that. He literally got the minnow in his mouth. What the world? Do y'all see that? I thought I had a crappie on. I knew it was fighting harder than normal. What the world? Let's go ahead and get him back. He's got this little lump on his head. Ugh. I think I've caught this dude before. I have. I've caught this fish before. We're gonna go and get him back. Mm. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> what the world? I did not know there were boar here. Like, it, we're gonna eat the minerals. Oh. Oh, I got something. Well, I was reeling it in, y'all. Oh my gosh. I was reeling it in. Gosh. Let's go. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that crappie. Mm. Nice black crappie, man. Real black crappie. Dang. Ooh, he's so aggressive. Go ahead and get him back. All right, y'all. So I'm back at the crib now. I had an amazing time using minnows for the first time. Like, I did not think it was going to be as effective as it was. Now, our, now here's, the, here's the downfall. It did take a while. But it seemed like when I started throwing the minnows in the water by my lure, they just started to get riled up. Y'all saw I even caught the bullhead. I didn't even know I had bullheads. Well, I did. That's a lot. I knew I had bullheads, but I didn't expect to catch the same one again today. That was crazy. But I think that if you are holding back on doing something for the first time, if you watch my video, this should be your sign to go and try it because I was nervous to try using minnows and I had great results. 
it was amazing. I had a lot of excitement come out that I never had using the lures. Sure, it's fun with the lures, but you know eventually you're gonna get something. With did with the minnows, like I was watching them get scared, seeing the bobber drift side to side and it go down, and then I had to set the hook. That was just so much fun to me. I enjoyed it, and I think if you haven't tried it, you should go do it. And if you haven't hit that subscribe or like button, you should go ahead and do that too. But I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. You know, I appreciate all the love and support I get on all my videos. That's why I do it for y'all and for the man above because he has me here and has blessed me with the ability to do what I am doing now. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get out here. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe so you can be part of the family. Hey, it's been your boy Turbo Tastic. We're going to catch you in the next episode. Peace. Thank you.